welcome back to my channel. So I have another hair video for you. This one is from Esteria Hair. My package came with a wig cap and an elastic band. So this is what the wig looks like fresh out the package. This is the curl pattern of the wig. So this is a glueless lace front wig. It does come with three combs and adjustable straps to fit your head. The Swiss lace on this wig is very soft. The wig comes with 13 by 6 inch parting. It's 100% human hair. The wave pattern is a deep wave. Um, the color that it comes in is natural black. The length that I got is 22 inches and this is 180% density. The knots on this wig are not bleached. It does come with a pre-plucked hairline and also baby hair. So I wanted to go for a lighter color so I purchased the Cream of Nature um, box dye in the color Honey Blonde. It's supposed to take your hair from black to this lighter color. The first thing that I'm going to do is tweeze the hairline just a little bit more. It honestly does not need much customization, but I just like to go in and do this to all my wigs um, just to personalize it or customize it to make sure that um, it fits my head. lace around the hairline. blasting free spray just to protect the lace from the color. Now I'm using a blow dryer just to set that in place. All I did was I got two box dies, I took the contents out of each box, combined them as the direction said, and just shook everything up. Now all I'm doing is applying the color um, to all over the hair basically. I'm squirting it on and then just uh, using my hand to rub it through the hair so that you know it's saturated and it gets everywhere.
for about two hours and now it's time to just wash it out because I don't see it getting as light as I want it to get so I'm just gonna wash it out at this point. I probably should have just bleached it to get it lighter but it's not a big deal. you can see that it got to this medium to dark brown color and I honestly liked it also what I did was took some of my foundation and just applied it to the lace so that it'll blend more with my skin right now I'm just cutting the baby hair a little bit shorter because it's just a little too long for my taste I wanted to go for a side part so I just parted my hair on the side. I'm using the Got To Be Glued Free Spray just to tame the hair. And I forgot to tell you that I'm using the elastic band method to secure the wig to my head. So here I'm taking some Eco Styler Gel and just applying that to the baby hair just to slick it down to make it look a little more polished. So while I'm working on getting my baby hair swoop just right, um, let's just talk about the hair. I love the fact that this is a glueless wig. I can take it off at night. All you really need to do is just attach an elastic band and also just use some got to be glue free spray just to hold it down for the day. It has a nice deep wave pattern. The hair is um, really easy to work with. It does not shed. I repeat, it does not shed, at least not right now, but um, I've noticed with my other wigs, um, they do shed, not dramatically, but you know, it, it does um, shed. But this, I haven't experienced um, any shed hair yet, so that's really great. I have no complaints about um, the cap size. I got a medium sized cap, so the, the wig did fit well. I love the fact that um, it does come with a pre-plugged hairline um, because it makes my life a lot easier. I didn't have to do much customization. Like the tweezing that I did was very, very minimal compared to if um, I was working with a wig that did not have a pre-plugged hairline. The hair was not too thick and it wasn't too thin. It was the perfect density. The only con that I would say is the lace and it's not even a big deal but um, I just wish it was more of an invisible lace so that you wouldn't have to use foundation or dye the lace for it to match your skin tone. Like I said, it's really not a big deal but that would be the only con. Overall, I'm really happy with this wig. I think it's a great one. So now that I'm finally done with my baby hair, <laughs> this is what the wig looks like. All you have to do now is just, you know, use your fingers and just pull some of the curls apart if you want it to be a little bit more um, frizzy or fluffier. I actually decided that I wanted to go for more of a wet look, so right here you're just going to see me adding some mousse and some water to the hair. guys so much for watching. I'll leave all the information on this hair in the description box below this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!